Oxygen is freely given by God to everyone, to the just and to the wicked, to those who do good or evil, and even to the undeserving. Even though it has been given without a cost, many have been gasping for it due to their daily problems. Unfortunately, the reality is that the world has become like a valley of dry bones. Many people have been living in emptiness and have been left broken. Due to the pandemic, the world hasn't been the same. Many have been left unemployed, without food and even homeless. Also because of violence, the world hasn't been the same. That's why the Twilight Prayer so that God may transform your life and bring restoration to this world. Prepare a glass of water for the moment of prayer. Arise and shine. Be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Together we are strong. Deliverance is something that everyone desires. Freedom. Because many people, they have been bound. Many people, they feel as if they have blockages along the way. They want to move forward, but they are unable to because apparently all they do, do not work for them. Everything they try, they encounter obstacles, they face challenges, they do not see progress. Perhaps this has been how your life has been thus far. Throughout this year, 2021, you have been trying, you have been pushing hard, you have been wrestling, you have been hustling, but you have not made it as far as you wanted to make in life. You are disappointed, you are frustrated, you are in the verge of giving up. You need deliverance, you need freedom, you need to be, you know, free, released from the chains that are binding you. And I'm going to give you proof that it's possible. I'm going to give you proof that you can be released. I'm going to give you proof that you can overcome. But prior to that, I would like you who feel the way it was described by me right now, to give us a call. You who feel the way we have described to you, your life is exactly that. What we have spoken is the exact picture of what is happening in your life. Give us a call right now. 389-9880-709-8062. Text us now, right now, here in our YouTube channel. Yes, yeah, send me your name, send me your problems, because we are going to be praying for you towards the end of this special broadcast, because you are not meant to live the life you are living. And speaking of not living the life you are living, Friday is the day of deliverance, is the day to break all chains. Friday is the day for you to be set free. And that is what is going to happen in this venue here, San Fernando. This place that you see here, right next to me, I will be with you this Friday at this venue, the headquarters of the Universal Church in San Fernando, number 2122 Mucurapu Street, next to San Fernando Market, in the heart of San Fernando. We will be determined your freedom. We are going to be determined in your victory, in your deliverance. Also, in our national headquarters, number 40, South Key, Port of Spain. The team of pastors in our headquarters will be there in order to proclaim deliverance, in order to break all chains. As it happened in the life of Miss Sherine, whose story we are going to watch right now. My name is Shireen. When I started coming to the Universal Church, I came into the church with many problems, many family problems, family problems. Like me and my kids, we couldn't see eye to eye. There were a lot of fights. There was a lot of quarrels in the house. Uh, my kids used to be disrespecting me. I had many marital problems where my marital problems was really bad. And... Um, I had many sleepless nights, sleepless nights. I couldn't sleep at nights. I feel like things were pulling me, tugging me, slapping me, fighting me, you know, and I just could not sleep. 
um, hearing voices in the house, things you see in shadows walking through the house. And this is when I now started coming to the Universal Church. I had financial problems. Financial problems was really, really bad until one day even I had a property. Through the financial problems, I almost lose my property, but started coming and learning about tithing. I exercised my faith. I made a covenant with God that I would be faithful to him. And using the wisdom that came from God, I was able to put my, always put my first fruits, you know, that belong to God faithfully. Every time I get um, whatever comes in my hand, I would put my 10% that belongs to God on the altar. And after some time coming to the church, doing that, being faithful in my um, giving, I realized things started changing a lot for me. Um, my, the property that I almost lost, even went to court with that property, this, it was so bad that being faithful, God opened a way that I was able to pay off that um, lump sum of money that I was owing for my property. And today now, my property, I am debt free out of my property. My property now belongs totally to me. And my life today, it's really great. I have peace in my home. Me and my family, we communicate much better. We have, you know, um, a better family life. My family life is much better today. Um, we communicate, you know, as a family with peace in our home. We have that joy, we have that togetherness. We could sit and chat, me and my kids, me and my husband. We have a greater communication now. And um, my marriage is, I would say it's blessed today because the communication that we had in the past, um, today we communicate a lot better. Um, my business is much better today and I truly want to thank God, you know, for what he have done in my life and I want to encourage others who are listening to my testimony, come to the Universal Church learn more about tithing but first you come and you, you join the chain of prayer and you would be instructed about your tithing and once you put God first God would you know do his part because you have been doing your part the greatest joy that I have right now is having the Holy Spirit not just having the material things not just having money house car but the greatest joy that I have inside of me is having God himself living inside of me. That peace, that joy, that fulfillment that God gives to you when you have the Holy Spirit. That wisdom that you lack nothing because he is there inside of you. So I want to encourage others to come, receive the same, seek for your salvation, receive the Holy Spirit and God would do the rest. Good evening, Pastor, Pastor Marcos. We are here in preparation for this Sunday. This Sunday, we are going to cry out for the family because we know, Pastor Marcos, that many people suffer with financial, with a family problems. Now, we are here with this name, Miss Lydia. She has problems in, uh, in her financial life, and she said, Pastor, I need a prayer for my business. We are going to pray for you, O Miss Lydia. We are going to place your name here inside of this olive oil. And also, Pastor Marcos, we have here Miss Maria. She's from Chaguanas, and she needs a prayer for her business also. Miss Maria, we are going to pray for you, and we have no doubt that after the prayer, God will open the doors for you. And also, Pastor Marcos, we have here Miss Nadia. She has problems in her family with her son, Miss Nadia. We are going to play, pray for you, pray for your family, 
And the name of Jesus, after this prayer, this curse will be broken for your family. We are going to place your name here inside of this olive oil. Pastor Marcos, many people call us to ask a prayer for their family, their financial life. If you need our help, you can call us. Uh, our telephone number is 389-9880. You can call us. We are here to help you. Pastor Marcos is with you. Thank you very much, Pastor Jonathan. As you have placed the names of the people into the holy oil, we are going to shortly pray on their behalf. But this Friday is going to be a unique opportunity given by God to all of you. As the Word of God says, this Bible verse that we are going to read together, delight yourself also in the Lord, and He shall give you the desires of your heart. You desire to be free. You desire to be released from these chains of darkness that has been binding you. These shackles that has been holding you back. This invisible wall that prevents you to progress, to succeed, to take possession. And this is what is going to happen. The same God who transformed the life of Mishirin is going to transform in your life as well. At this place, San Fernando. This is the place where your life will change. Right here, this is the place where you are going to find answers. This is the place where chains will be broken. You who stay in South Marabella, Vista Bella, you who stay in Bacadere, you who stay in Corinth Hills, you who stay in Union Hall, and the surroundings of Sandu, you are most welcome to join us this Friday because freedom is knocking at your door. At 7 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock midday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and most especially 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I, Pastor Marcos, will be with you. Also in our national headquarters, number 40, South Key, Port of Spain. You can see the timetable the timetable for the services in Port of Spain, 6 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 midday, 3 p.m., and 5 p.m. You can't miss out because you have to be free. Do you desire to be free? So it will be yours. All you have to do is to look for the freedom you desire to achieve in life. The deliverance you want to have because it's available to you. Speaking about this freedom, this deliverance being available to you, I would like you to prepare your glass of water because when we return, we are going to be praying for you. You can keep on calling, you can keep on texting because we have our team of faith, our counselors ready to attend to your call, to answer, to reply to you. You can also text us on our YouTube channel. Right now, in the comments of our YouTube channel, you can text address to me, and we are going to be praying for you, asking God to bless your life. Now is our moment of prayer. Prayer is our communication with God. You watched the testimonies. You heard the word. But now, please close your eyes and prepare for the moment of prayer. In life we have so much pain. My God and my Father, right now I determine the freedom of your people, the deliverance of your people. I determine that whatever might have been binding and blocking your people, my Father, be removed from their lives, from around them right now. I consecrate this water to you and I ask you that all those who drink of it may drink of your power and so find a transformation. A total change must take place in their lives. With a blessing, I bless this water and I bless the lives of all those who now pray with me because I am certain that your power is released from heaven upon their lives. Those who have texted us on YouTube, those who have texted us on WhatsApp, those who have called our helpline, may all of them, together with their families, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And those who agree and believe say, Amen. You may drink from this blessed water right now. You don't need to wait until Friday. 
Even tomorrow, Tuesday, in all the universal churches of the kingdom of God nationwide, we are going to be ready to help you, to pray for you, because there is hope, there is solution. God is able. If everyone has failed you, he will never fail. Arise and shine. Be blessed. Together, we are strong. Watch what the Unisocial has been doing to help the less privileged in Trinidad and Tobago. The Universal Church presents Christmas Without Hunger, an end-of-year program that has helped thousands of families nationwide. And this year, it will be no different. Although we are in the midst of a pandemic, there are even more families in need. Due to the fact that many lost jobs, businesses were closed down, the vast majority of families are in dire need. So help us to reach our target to make sure that this Christmas families will find some food.